Hey guys, Esther here with the EIEQinstitute.com, a platform dedicated to the awareness, education, and practice of emotional intelligence. So it's that time again where it's review and reset time for the end of the year. And I don't know about you, but for me, as a very high achieving person, you know, even if I don't practically always achieve all the things that I'm wanting to, uh, I know that in my mind and in my spirit, there's so many things that I want to do uh, in a year that it's sometimes impossible to get all that done, right? So here's something that I've come up with year over year in the past couple of decades um, that has really helped me formulate a system on how to do that end of the year review and reset. So it's 2020, it's the end of 2023, we're going into 2024, and let me go over it really quickly with you. So basically what I do is I have, I create a document that says, achievements and then focus and what I normally do with this document is I keep it digitally I used to back in the day print it out so if you're a person that wants to print it out and keep it with you at all times you can but now I keep it digitally saved in my Google Drive and I actually use this document on a monthly basis so I will write out at the beginning of the month um, all the things that my goals for the month and then all the achievements for the month But that's a different conversation different video and we can talk about that at a different time But for the yearly what you want to do is you want to do the same thing you want to write out achievements and focus and what I do is I document all the things basically like highlights of what I've achieved in the last year so in 2023, one of the things that I've achieved this year was that I wrote and finished my book. I finished the manuscript. Uh, it's with the publisher and it is now ready for design. So I am now waiting for the publisher to get back to me so we can move into the next phase of design. In the following year, my focus is to actually publish the book and then also the book will be in audible form so it'll be published in all these different formats and so that's a big goal for me right and so um that process you know something that in my mind would have taken maybe a year something like that most likely is going to take about two years so it's very important to be very practical and reasonable and realistic about the goals that we write down this is something I learned from Tony Robbins is that many times we think that a goal is going to take much less time in our head, but the reality of things is that it doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. And so we have to accept the fact that things may take a lot longer. And so it's important to imagine things in decades. So let's say you have a really massive, massive goal and uh, you know like a big dream that you've been focusing on maybe a business whatever it is but really spreading it out into decades so that you are being realistic about your goals so you're not overwhelming yourself and you're not disappointed and that really helps to manage the crazy uh, the other thing is that so when you go ahead and you you know you you process all that stuff into your document there you can, you can put all your massive goals, right? You could put all your goals into that document and whatever you don't achieve in that one year, you can always move to the following document for the end of the, end of the year review, okay? So that's pretty much what I do. And then the other thing that I do is very fun and very important to do is actually buy a calendar. So I purchased this recent calendar. It's uh, very beautiful. It's here on my wall. And um, I, I usually get like a year's, I, uh, one of those calendars that shows you a year so that you can see what's going on throughout the year. Um, or you could just buy something like that, whatever works for you. And then I also buy another one for my office and I put it out. And so I write out all the dates and everything that 
I need so that I can plan throughout the week, the month, the year. So it's always very helpful. So again, just to recap guys, remember you can use this document, it's called a progress update or however you progress report or however you wanna name it. And then you list your achievements for the year and then your focus for the upcoming year. And you just, you know, you, you, you create a plan and then you work the plan. And that's all there is to it. And that's probably the hardest part is working the plan. So don't get discouraged, stay focused, and would love to hear what is your achievements been for 2023 and also <clears throat> what is your focus in 2024. Would love to love to hear it. So with that, guys, as always, you know, it's always about moving from reactive to proactive crazy. And this is one of those really great tools that you can use to get yourself out of overwhelm and frustration and maybe some stuckage into clarity, uh, excitement, motivation, and just um, moving full force uh, into your goals and dreams. All right, guys. So with that, as always, when you know and understand yourself, the world will know and understand you too. And remember, what's the best and that can happen. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please like, please share, please subscribe. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much. Take care.